Good morning, everyone. So in today's vlog, I actually, right, fun fact, I actually did this vlog yesterday and then my camera fucking died midway through, which meant I lost all my fucking footage. You can imagine my reaction. I wasn't very happy, but I thought I'd let you in on what we're actually doing today. So I'm going over my dad's in a sec because I have to make a few phone calls um, with him. But today's vlog, today's, oh no, I slept in this. Oh, it's okay, you guys won't know. Um, but anyway, so today's vlog, I was gonna do a video about 30 things, like 30 life lessons in 30 years. <laughs> Hang on, I've just walked up the stairs. But anyway, I've written some stuff down. I sh I was gonna get to 30 things, which I thought would really help someone, especially like teenage girls that are watching this, that are 18, 19, ready to fuck up their life. I'm here to stop you doing that. So do as I say, not what I do, okay? Because I've really fucked up my life in many different ways before. I mean, it's all right at the moment. Yeah, I'm kind of gliding through life quite happily, but yeah, there's been some moments when I wish I had someone like me telling me, don't fucking do that. <laughs> but I didn't, so I fucked up, you know? So, I'm just gonna, what am I gonna do? I don't know. Oh my God, right, my friend got me this Saint-Tropez bloody tan. I haven't tried it yet. I did try some on my stomach, hang on. But I don't actually think it's shown up, has it? Just there. That's not done anything, has it? Okay, well maybe I'll try again. So the first lip, first thing on my list, right, of things, life lessons before turning 30. The first one is not everyone is gonna like you. And I had to come to terms with this, especially being like on social media. You could be like the nicest person in the world and you'll still get people that are like, you're a fucking dickhead, you're a bitch. And it's like, you can't stop people from thinking that. If they think that about you, <laughs> That's just their choice, do you know what I mean? Also, look at the fucking state of that. If that's not the epitome, like, of my life, I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, not everyone's gonna like you in life. Just accept it, fuck. I just spat and it rebounded on my fucking face. Right, I'm actually gonna change my top because I feel like an absolute dirty bitch. To be honest, I really wanna change my top. The second one on my list, which I thought I'd actually include because I feel like people just need to hear this. People need to hear this one, okay? It's never trust a fart. Now that might be like, why the fuck are you telling us to never trust a fart? Trust me. Don't ever trust a fart. Okay, the amount of times I've been in situations, right, where I've been like, oh, I'll just pop one out a little bit, or I'll just pop one out. No, it's a full on shit. Like a full blown shit. So never trust a fart. Even if you think it's gonna be completely innocent. Okay, maybe a bit silent but violent, but honestly, sometimes it could be not silent and also fucking violent, if you trust it. Okay, so that's the second one. I'm gonna wear my granddad's jumper today. My granddad gave me a jumper and I'm, I'm all for fucking freebies. What is wet on my ass? Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Get fucked. Let me change my top. I'm not gonna change the top underneath though because I'm not actually wearing a bra. Actually, no, I like this, it's so warm. I don't wanna get changed. I know I slept in it, guys, but it's really warm. So I'm not gonna do it. Don't force me to do it. Third life lesson is some people are just pricks. <sighs> you could be, again, you could be like the nicest person in the world and people... What was that? Um, yes, yeah, so you could be like the nicest person in the world to everyone that you come across. Like, I would say I'm pretty nice. Unless you got on the wrong side of me, then I'm a psycho cunt. Some people are just fucking pricks. And I'll tell you a story time, right, that's fucking hilarious, but also really sad. So when I started my secondary school, right, I had no friends, because I'd literally just moved. No, where did I go? I went to primary school, like, really far away, and then I started, like, a brand new secondary school. Everyone already had their little group of friends, you know, little cliques, and I was just there. So at secondary school, I tried to make such a big effort for people to like me. <laughs> it's so sad. I want to hug my old self and be like, it's okay, babe, like, you're going to get through this. But anyway, and I used to smile at everyone that I came across. Like, people that others thought were freaks, I would fucking smile at them. Teachers, smile at them. Like, I wanted to be nice to everyone. And then this one day, I was walking down the corridor, I think I was on my way to maths, and I, like, smiled at this guy, and he went, fuck off. <laughs> and it's that at that moment, I realised not everyone in life is nice. 
like I feel like when you're in primary school, you're in like this little bubble, like you do get some like horrible people and whatever, but secondary school, honestly, when Alfie started secondary school, I was so scared for him. He was, he's ginger. Do you know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, he's getting, gonna get ripped the piss out of, he's gonna get called ginger pubes. That is true, that does happen. He does get called ginger pubes, but he's learned to accept it. He's learned to accept from a young age that not everyone is nice and pump, some people are just pricks. Um, so that's the third life lesson. <laughs> right, I'm going now. Yeah, all right. Okay, barrels, I've seen a little bit. I don't want my game. Oh, Can you help him with his game? I struggle to play it. Well, of course, I he's got a prawn in the thumb. A... Okay, well, anyway, I'm off to my go, go to my dad's. Yeah, I'll yeah, bring my yeah. trusty. Pardon? I'm going to bring my trusty book with me so I can go through yeah, this um, yeah, thing. So I can go through the list, my good old list. That t literally took me, I'm not being funny, right? So I was gonna write down 30, I've written. So far, I got to 18. But yesterday, to be fair, to give credit where it's due, I did actually stop on nine yesterday because I was like, my brain can't function. What fucking life lessons do I have? But I have a lot. I have a lot of life lessons, life lessons. Sorry, we can't walk to dad's house, darling, because it's ages away and it'll take us about half an hour with you. No way. Yeah, but you're wearing sliders. <laughs> You're wearing sliders. No, um, I'm not. <laughs> so, guys, I no! just got... shut no! up, Harry, please. Oh god, you're so fucking annoying. <laughs> Barrels. I swear to God, I had a fart in your fucking mouth. Right, so I wanted to share with you these. If you see them on TikTok, unless you're living under a rock. No. Okay, I got these. They're the natural ones. But then I was like, oh, I want to look like a fucking baddie. I want to look like a bad bitch. Okay. So I got these, and I'm going to do them tonight while yeah. still telling you about life, life lessons that I've learned over the years. Harry, I said it and I thought it would be really fun. Look at him. Look at him. He's your baby. He's your baby. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Harry, he keeps opening my front door. Harry, come back. Bars! Oh, oh look, Dad. Harry, look. What have you got? Well, so, I've just been to my dad's and now he's putting some. Pardon? And my dad's just filling up my um, windscreen wiper wash because it keeps fucking freezing and he's got some antifreeze one. But anyway, yeah, we've had a nice time, haven't we, Mr. Barrels? No. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that'll do. What else is in here? Let's have a little look. Oh, I've got my list there. Milk, fizzy, squash, bread. But, how, what did I get to? Oh, number four is a very important one. Is if they wanted to, they would. And I've had to learn this. I'm still learning these things, guys. This isn't something I've learned over 30 years. Like, this is something that I'm still fucking learning and come to terms with. Is that if they wanted to, they would. So when you're sat there thinking, oh, they're not texting me. Oh, maybe I should text them again. Like, maybe they're just busy. Maybe, you know. Not being funny. No one is that unavailable. I'm sorry. But I have learned the, that someone oh, cannot be unavailable why? for, like, eight hours straight. And I text you and be like, sorry, was busy. Fuck off. You can easily just get your phone out of text, but yeah, the one thing I've learned is if they wanted to, they would. So I've been waiting around for ages thinking, oh my God, they're gonna text me. If they wanted to, they would have text, but clearly they don't fucking want to talk to me. And that's okay. Well, it's not okay, because it does make me have breakdowns and stuff, and obviously I do get a bit woo over that, but um. That's number four. Number four is quite quick and easy. Dad's checking my oil. Thanks, Dad. You're a fucking ledge. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Love you, Dad. Thank you much. <laughs> Very much. Oh, darling, you're so sweet, aren't you? Yeah, I love you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm editing. I'm editing that out. <laughs> Oh God, fucking love him. Bye, Dad.
He's literally not my best mate, I can't lie. He's a legend. You what? You don't mean it. Hashtag yes I fucking do. Okay, bye dad. Oh just like my favorite song going round round in my head. Hi guys. <laughs> if this isn't the fucking epitome oh, fuck off of a cost of living crisis, right? I've just had a debt collector at my door for collecting a gas debt. Um which I just haven't been able to pay. I haven't been able to pay. He wasn't a bailiff, he was just a collector. Are they the same thing? I don't know. But anyway, and he was just like, how much can you afford? And I was like, the fucking bare minimum, mate. The bare minimum. Of course I've got to still buy my eyelashes. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't put me in this position where I can't buy eyelashes. Or fucking hair products, you know? So, but anyway, that's all sorted. <laughs> he, to be fair, he was a really nice guy. He was nice. Hang on, let me go get my book. Because we're going to be reading out some more. For your entertainment. Okay. Here it is. Let's have a look in the Book of Doom. Number five. Okay, number five. I feel like this is turning into a how to get over someone when you're going through heartbreak kind of life lessons. But it's not. There are some other ones in there. But this one is you can't make someone love you. Mm. You just can't do it. You can't make someone love you. Like, I've done, tried so hard to make someone love me the way I love them. And it just does not work. If they don't, then they just don't. Do you know what I mean? Like, you... Barrels? <laughs> I'm trying to do my video. But anyway, so... Number five is you can't make someone love you. Say it. You can't make someone love you. Exactly. Give it a five. Number six. Now, I feel like this goes hand in hand, is you can't make people like you. But it's people's opinions of you are not fact. So when, say for instance, I don't know, someone's saying to someone about you, being like, yeah, they're really horrible and they're nasty and they're a bitch. You know, that's not a fact. That's just their own opinion. Do you know what I mean? Nah. But yeah, so people's opinions of you are not fact. Majority of the time, it's just what they think about you, which again, just isn't the truth. Do you know what I mean? I swear, I had a coffee. I don't know why, but I lose like coffee all day. Oh, is that it? No, that's fucking Fanta. Like, where the fuck? Okay, number seven. Number seven is hurt people, hurt people. And the reason why I know is because I've been a really hurt person in the past and I end up hurting people so before they can even hurt me. And I find that if you meet someone that like hurts you for no like apparent reason, you think, why are they doing this? It's because they're hurt. Or they've been through some fucking trauma or something regarding relationships or friendships or whatever which makes them just hurt people instead so sometimes when you meet someone they're like they're a dickhead they're not very nice it's because they're hurting you need to just kind of show a bit of empathy i think to people in those situations i guess i don't fucking know oh number eight hang on is it oh my god it is we're up to number eight we're getting there we're going through them slowly um but this life lesson is one that I really need to take, kind of take my own advice from this one, is don't change for people. Now, I'm blonde because I wanted to go blonde. It was time, I had a breakdown, and every time I have a breakdown, I dye my hair, so it was kind of like a forgiven thing, I had to do it. However, I mainly did it because I thought it would make someone like me more. How fucking sad, how sad is that I was like, I'm gonna go blonde, he's gonna fancy me, he's gonna be like, oh my god, I wanna shag her. But actually, I had the opposite effect. He doesn't wanna shag me. <laughs> Sorry, my camera died. Um, but yeah, so the reason why I'm blonde is because I changed my hair color thinking that it would make someone like me more. Funny fact, it didn't. It didn't change shit. So if you're wanting to like change your hair color thinking, oh my god, it's gonna make them like me more. Take the advice from, what number was it? Number five is you can't make people love you and this like you can't don't change yourself for anyone to make them like you more or even personality wise like say if you're i don't know i would say i'm really like over the top i find that some people either love me or hate me i'm fucking nuts okay but i don't ever change my personality for anyone don't like dim yourself down to make someone like you 
Like, I feel like over the years, like, yeah, I am a bit too much sometimes. And sometimes I literally change myself so much for people. But I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't have to do that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's a life lesson is don't fucking do that. Don't change yourself for no bitch. Right, I'm going to go get a little bag list in a minute. But before I do, right, I forgot to share with you guys. Fuck you. Sorry, I get really pissed off when these... Um, yeah, I need to show you guys. So this morning, right, Holly was like, I want my hair curled. And I'm like, I will do that for you, babe. I will sit there for fucking 20 minutes and curl your hair. Curled her hair. Oh, my God. Let me show you this clip. She looks fucking beautiful. Guys. <gasps> Guys. Oh my god, you look so beautiful. You gonna get your school shoes on? Yeah. Look at that. Oh my god, so pretty. Like, I'm sorry, who's the main character? Who's the main? It's Holly. Holly is the main character. 100%. Oh my god, the tan. The tan has actually worked. Look. Don't mind my fucking fat stomach, okay? I used to be bigger than this, so don't judge me. Oh, fuck. Yeah, look. How good does that look? That actually looks... <gasps> I'm doing my whole fucking... Shall we do it together? Tan and lashes tonight. Right, everyone, we're back home. I'm having to head out in a minute, though, because I need to get a Sainsbury's, because I need to collect a prescription, and I need to um, get some stuff, like school lunches and stuff. And I'm on to number nine. We get, we're getting there. I bet you guys are like, fucking hell, does she fucking... This is going on forever. But number nine is silence is power. Sometimes when you really want to fucking kick off at someone, like, I have that tendency. I I have those moods where I will just fucking explode. And I'll be like, you're a cunt, you're a cunt. But the best thing is silence. Like, the best thing you can do is just silently just be like, do you know what, fuck this. Like, don't make that mistake like me. I feel like I've made that mistake so many times and I continue to fucking do it because I'm a psycho. Okay, well, I'm actually not a psycho. I've just been told that I'm a psycho and bipolar because other people's actions have made me into that. But anyway, yes, yeah, silence is power. Take that as you will. That could be mean many things. Silence is power. <laughs> what am I, a fucking life coach? Oh my God, number 10. Number 10, guys, you are not ready for this one. You're not ready for this one. Don't give people the power to your happiness. Oh my god, please don't do this. I do this, and it's the biggest mistake I've ever made, probably, in relationships. And I always tend to like, so for instance, say if I've met someone, I really like them, and I'll become, like, a I become obsessed with people really quickly. I don't know if that's because of, like, the whole ADHD thing. I've looked into it, apparently it's actually a thing. So maybe I'm not a psycho after all. Maybe it's just because I've got, you know, a neurodivergent brain. Is that what it is? A neuro neurodivergent Neurodivergent. Hi. Yes, I'm neurodivergent, so maybe it's something like that. But anyway, and I tend to like put my happiness in like the, the power of them. So them texting me gives me happiness. Speaking to them gives me happiness. And when that's gone, I feel like, oh my God, I'm not going to be happy anymore. And no one's going to fucking like me. And I'm never going to smile again or laugh again. And actually, I fucking will. And I eventually do. I just, in that moment, feel like I've just put my all of my happiness into one person. And because they're not around anymore, I won't ever be happy again. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay? Don't put your happiness in other people's power. Don't put your happiness in the power of others. Don't give people the power to your happiness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Number 11 is a good one. Number, I'm going to fire through these, mate. Number 11 is a good one because it is, hang on, I've just forgotten. <laughs> Fuck off. It is try not to dwell on the past. And I have a tendency of doing this, no matter what situation it is. Let's see for an example. <laughs> I feel like I'm like a relationship advisor right now. I'm really not anything like that. However, as an example, right? What was it again? I swear, I fucking hate my brain. Squirrel. Yeah, try not to dwell on the past is the one that I was going to talk about. I'm really tired. I've got a fucking bang headache. But I tend to um, think about things that in the past that I could have done differently or said things differently or just anything that I wish I could change. But you can't change the past. And I know that's like being like, I remember when someone said that to me, I was like, you fucking can. But it's fucking true. Like you can't change the past. So don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on things that you wish you'd have changed. 
just try and learn from it and just try and move on and think of it as a past thing. Like you did that, you fucked up, okay that's fine, just move on. Like don't try and think of things, don't try and think of the things that you wish you'd change, if you know what I mean, because you can't fucking do that. Time machines aren't invented yet. Although I did have a bit, did I, was it on Patreon? I think I had a cry, I was having a breakdown and I, w I was like, I wish time machines were invented, I wish time machines were a thing. I look like a fucking idiot, because <laughs> they're not, and I don't think time machines will ever be a thing, because I don't actually think scientifically that ever could be a thing. But yeah, don't do it on the past. Number 12 is a good one, hang on, I'm just scratching my ass crack. <laughs> is, um, it's not you, it's, no, it's, it's, yes. <laughs> It's not you, it's them. So you know the whole saying like, it's not you, it's me. Like, it's not you, it's them. Like, sometimes we always think like, we're the fucking issue. Like when people have like struggled with like, I don't know, say like relationship commitment or anything like that and you think, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Why don't they like me? Why am I? It's not fucking you. You're an absolute babe. Like I'm not being funny, I'm an absolute catch. I'm fucking funny. I'm a five out of ten at a push it's sometimes it's not always you oh, I feel like I'm being so narcissistic right now I can feel myself like gaslighting myself oh my god let me write that down so I've just thought of a new one of don't gaslight yourself which we will go into okay stay tuned for that one <laughs> don't gaslight your self <laughs> this video is turning to a heap of shit I'm sorry I what else do I do clean sometimes when you think like oh my god there's something wrong with me no not always there's not always something wrong with you sometimes it's just them maybe they're just really shallow maybe they're just a fucking asshole so it's not you it's them Number 13 is social media is not real and I feel like this is so fucking cliche because everyone fucking says this But I wish I had someone say that to me when social media was becoming like a thing like Facebook was becoming a thing And some I wish someone said to me like social media isn't real like I remember with Alfie right So this is a clear example of social media isn't real when I first had Alfie I was 17 I was struggling so bad like I literally fucking hated my life at that point It was just so difficult to have a baby at the age of 17 when you're watching all your fucking friends go out and have fun you know, and do poppers and all that shit. And I was at home, like, fucking cradling a baby until 11 o'clock at night. It was so shit. And um, I remember putting on social media, like, I love my life. Like, I love Alfie. Best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, not really. He wasn't. Because at the age of 17, having a baby isn't really the best thing that's ever happened to you. I think, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, you're still so young. And it's not a good thing having a baby that age. But, um... Yeah, and I'd be like, oh my god, my life's amazing, and post like really cool updates of me and Alfie and what we get up to. And behind the scenes, I was so fucking depressed, like ridiculously. I had severe like postnatal depression, and I went to the doctor, and he was like, sorry, we can't give you anything because you're too young and too skinny. And I was there like, okay, cunt. They, I, I got no help for it, but anyway. And people used to fucking eat that shit up. They were like, oh my God, you're doing so well. You're such a great mom. But realistically, I was fucking struggling. But I felt like back then you couldn't really say anything. And even now, like you get people that are just like, I love motherhood. Like I wish people wouldn't fucking moan about it. It's like, oh, get fucked. You've obviously said to your kid, fuck off under your breath. Don't lie about it. Do you know what I mean? So social media isn't real. You might come across people like me and be like, oh my God, you're so real. That, do you know what? That's somewhat true. You know, but there has been instances where I've like, you know, turned on the camera, I've been chatting, and Holly's come up to me and fucking howled in my ear. I'd be like, Holly, fuck off. But I don't put that in. <laughs> Yay. Right, number 14, then I'm gonna go, okay, is when you're having a breakdown, don't dye your hair. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but do as I say, don't as I do. Is that what I just said? Don't do as I say, not as I do. That's the one. So yeah, I tend to, when I have breakdowns, I dye my hair blonde. I've always done it. Um, when I broke up with my boyfriend in 2014, I was absolutely fucking heartbroken and I was like, I'm going to dye my hair. So I started go doing like, you know, like the balayage, like dip dye kind of thing. I did that and eventually just went higher and higher as the breakdown got severely worse. And I ended up with severe, like, although my hair, well, no, it's all right at the moment. But my hair was like so damaged, like so bad. And I feel like every time I have a breakdown, it's like, blonde. 
what is wrong with me? But I feel like that's a really common thing. But if you are gonna do that and you actually want to change, at least have time to think about it. Don't just go full force like I do. I'm just like, I'm gonna go to fucking Sally's Beauty and buy a load of fucking bleach. You know, don't do that. Don't you hate it when you get a really itchy roof of your mouth? Right, I'm gonna go. I need to go, because I need to get some shit. Is it okay for me to go? Did you call him? Yeah, the, you can go. All we'll the right paper today's date there. It's cool. oh, okay. What? You want to come with me? You girl. can. She needs a girl. I've got such ah. I've got, got such a bad headache. Uh, I'm sorry. All right, me and the baglet. What the fuck is this lighting? Me and the baglet are off to Sainsbury's. Oh my god, my head is fucking pounding, guys. I just want to get a bed. Right, we'll see you in a minute. Is that how you get blind? What, if you look at a thunderstorm? No, if you look left at look some thunderstorm. I mean a... A light... If there's a lightning, like, line, and you look down and you look left, will, it, will you go blind? No, you shouldn't do. Right. We've just come out of Sainsbury's. We bought a lot more things than we actually needed to buy, didn't we, Baglet? Yeah. I also got Holly a magazine because she was so good. We had to wait for my brother's prescription. And they're so fucking slow in there. I've never known anything like it. Well, not not purposely slow. It's not them. I think it's just the systems of just pharmacies. They can be quite slow. So she was waiting for ages. So she's been such a freaking babe. And I thought I'd read one of my life lessons for you. You guys are getting so sick of this, but... Trust me, you won't. We are finally at number... Oh, hello. 15. We're at number 15, and number 15 is... Revenge isn't always the best policy. And the reason for that is because I always used to be like... I used to be toxic as fuck. Actually, no, I still am. That's a lie. I'm not going to be like, oh, I was. I still am really toxic as fuck. And, um... Sometimes revenge isn't always the best policy because all you end up doing is kind of hurting other people and then hurting yourself in doing that, if you know what I mean. It's time to give the babies a bath. They're very excited. I'm going to take my makeup off because I want to get ready for bed. And also I want to do my eyelashes. I look fucking disgusting. Why? You love my mate? I'll put some on more tomorrow, okay? I thought we were dragon. Yeah, I'll put more makeup on tomorrow, okay? No! Harry, I can't wear makeup all the time, darling. I've got to take it off at night time. So I believe we're at number 16. So can I look? We are getting there. What? I'm going to see them. They can't, you can't see them. They're in the bath. Mom, I'll do this. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello. That was fucking pointless. <laughs> I can real fly. Do you watch I can real fly? You know, it's not the first time I've looked like this. No, I'm not. My mum says the naughty word. The F word? Yeah, the F word. Oh, what is F word? Maybe. What word was it? Harry said fuck and I said bitch. Cool. <laughs> Mum, it's not cool because those are the naughty words. They are naughty words, yeah. Yeah, they're not So we can't say those. No. We yeah. only will not can say those. Yes. Grown ups can't, but some grown ups don't want to because they feel uncomfortable. Right, guys. The kids are running fucking right. They've had a bath. They're settled. Well, not settled. They're not fucking settled at all. Can you hear that? Um, but 
we're just gonna crack on with this. So, what one did I get up to? Oh yeah, number 17, right, is don't wear your heart on your sleeve. I'm massive. I do this all the fucking time. I'm so bad for it. I'm like, oh, like I'll meet someone and be like, let's move in together. Like, I <laughs> literally like, I'll meet someone and be like, oh my God, I love you. Like I fall in love really quickly. And I think that's the worst thing that anyone can do. And even if you do, don't let them know. Don't show them that you've done that because I feel like they just take advantage of that. And then they're like, whoa, you're fucking crazy. You fall in love really quick. And do you know what? Sometimes that's okay, but don't do it to yourself. So number 18 is expect less, then you won't be disappointed. I feel like I always expect so much from people and I don't know why, because I always get fucking let down. Like all the time, always getting let down. And I think when you expect less, then you won't be disappointed. You know, don't expect them to text you back. Don't expect them to want to see you because then you won't be disappointed when they don't. Does that make any sense? Like, and number 19, like I wrote down earlier, is don't gaslight yourself. And I'm really bad for this. I always gaslight myself. So for instance, say if like, I don't know, someone's like, I don't fucking like you. And in, in my head, I'll be like, but they put a kiss on the end of their message. So they must like, <laughs> they're fucking gaslighting. You're gaslighting yourself. You're making yourself believe that something that isn't true. Do you know what I mean? Don't do that. Don't be a twat like me, <laughs> please. It's time for the lashes, guys. I might not be a fucking TikTok babe and doing it on TikTok and being a babe. I'm just gonna do it on here, okay? I'm well excited for this. Even though I feel like I don't, I feel like I don't suit lashes. Like I feel like they just look a bit funny on me. But do you know what? We're gonna go with it. We're gonna actually go with it. Yes, darling. I haven't got any juice. Drink some water. Right, let's go. Let's start right on the end. We're gonna start out and then in. I wanna get enough on there so it fucking sticks, right. Then we get our little thingy. Fuck. Start on the end, okay. I feel like these are gonna be massive. And I feel like I am not gonna suit these. Do you know what, let's just fucking do it. Life's too short, that's another one. Number 20, life's too fucking short. <laughs> one is on, let's keep going. I feel like I'm gonna look fucking ridiculous with these lashes. What have I done, guys? Oh no. Number two. Let's go for it, guys. Let's not fuck about. Let's just get it on. Are they too out? I feel like. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine, let's just keep going and see how it looks at the end. And then we'll have a fucking breakdown about our eyelashes, okay? Number three. Oh fuck, hang on. This is all, this is coming together. It's coming together, okay? Trust the fuck, why the fuck have I got glue on my eyebrow? Oh, get fucked. Let's get that bit of glue off my fucking eyebrow. There we go. Now, last one. These, to be fair, these are so easy. I'm not gonna spend like, God knows how much you, you spend in a fucking salon. Salon, why do I always say salon as if I'm fucking American? Yeah, they're much cheaper obviously than going to salon and paying like 40 odd quid to get extensions, do you know what I mean? We don't have time for that, especially as we're mums. Oh, it's the last one. Let's hope for the best. Do you know what? They don't look too bad, do they? It looks fucking awful, doesn't it? <laughs> don't fucking laugh. I swear to God, if you're laughing right now, I swear to God, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking neck. 
Right, let's just, oh no, it's all over, why is my hand so sticky? Okay, do you know what, it could be fucking worse. And I don't think they look too bad actually. On camera it looks fucking awful, but in the... Oh, fuck it, let's just go ahead and do the next one. Next eye, here we go. <laughs> okay. Ouch, I just poked myself in the fucking eye. Get fucked. <laughs> Don't fucking look at me. Okay, this one isn't going as great. Oh, they look so fucked. <laughs> My makeup, no. You're not putting any makeup on now. I haven't finished yet. Tr I haven't finished yet. Trust the process. Look. Why the fuck are you laughing, Bags? <laughs> You're meant to be on my side with this. I'm on their side. <laughs> Who's fuck? Oh fuck! I've just pulled out those eyelashes out of one. Hang on. Oh no! I'm real fucking this. I'm pulling out eyelashes on some of them. You know when you just contemplate your life and you'll be like, why do I fuck things up? This just doesn't look right. It doesn't, they don't look even. Like this one's really fluffy and gappy. And this one just looks all right. These look fucking horrendous. Holly, why do these look so bad? Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Guys, don't make fun of my mum. She looks beautiful in them. <laughs> when you put the makeup on, you will look beautiful. Thanks, babe. Mummy, can I have your makeup? But seriously, though. Mum, can I Do you see what I mean? I think it's the fucking angle of my eyes. I just can't do it. Yeah, do you know what? It could be worse. I'm actually. Do you know what? They look alright. I think. Would I rather fucking have some weird ass fucking lashes on myself than go to a salon and pay 45 quid 100% I can't lie so on that note I'm gonna go <laughs> yay and I was gonna do my tan tonight but I probably won't have fucking time so I'll probably do it tomorrow ready for the weekend not that I'm doing fuck all but for the weekend and um, I'm actually not gonna do any more life lessons you can all get fucked because I know for a fact you fucking laughed but I love you. <laughs> okay. So, I guess I'll see you in another vlog. Another time. Next time it'll probably be a better one. Okay, love you, bye. Every change has a reason.